Hey Keys Mods fans, it's David Fine. This is a mangrove skipper, Physiotes Pygmalion. I'm gonna show you this little guy. He's being super cooperative. Look at him. It's a tropical beauty that we have here in South Florida. I'm gonna show you about it, how to find them. Uh, it's on flowers, it makes it a little easy. It's kind of cheating, but I'm gonna show you all about the mangrove skipper. Check this video out. But guys, I'm here in Gumbo Limbo Nature Center in Boca Raton, Florida. Tropical hardwood hammock, right in the middle of the concrete jungle we know as Boca Raton. And in the middle of this park, well, the, the park is right on a, on the Intracoastal. And on the Intracoastal, there's loaded with red mangroves, which we're gonna go on a walk and we're gonna show you the host plant for this beauty here in a minute. But guys, the, the red mangroves are the host plant for the mangrove skipper, imagine that. And so guys, here, the, the cool thing about this park, I used to come here when I was a kid look and look for butterflies and it's changed a lot. It's become like a marine sanctuary and, and stuff like that. They study sea turtles and rescue sea turtles, which is super cool. But a lot of the hardwood hammock that we used to have and enjoy down here has been cleared away and they've made, made buildings and research buildings and uh, some uh, parking lots for, for visitors and so on. So uh, it's not quite what it used to be. However, there's still some cool bugs, but I'm gonna show you a mangrove skipper right now. All right, so skippers guys have a really long proboscis that goes all the way down deep into the throats of these long, of these flowers. That's a characteristic, a characteristic of all skippers. They have a really long proboscis. They love flowers. This guy's got a little bit of miles on him, but you can see the bright blue underneath. The fresh specimens are really, really blue. Now there, there we can get a, a nice glimpse of that iridescence. There it is, there, there it is, guys. You guys saw that, right? Some nice iridescent coloration on this mangrove skipper. And he's just absolutely mesmerized with these flowers. I remember when I was a kid, we would come down to this park and we would see these all over the place. And so it's nice to still have a place not too far from my house where we can come and see some tropical beauties like the mangrove skipper. Beauty. All right, guys, finally, mangrove skipper. Physiotes pygmalion. It's one of our largest skippers. Physiotes pygmalion okeechobee, the subspecies oh here in South God. Florida. And the Brazilian skipper, I'm sorry. Oh, look, it's a baby. Green oh. and all. Yep. So this butterfly, guys, is one of South Florida's beauties. This is a male. Males have the bright iridescent blue on the hind wing. Uh, females are a little bit larger and lack some of the bright iridescent coloration but they are a fascinating butterfly guys and i remember the when i started seeing these guys when i was a kid just how how amazed i was at the, wow. the brightness of the blue this guy's a little beat up right he's a little beat up he's got some miles on him but we're gonna try and just oh, yeah there's, there's oh, a monitor. there's a lot of butterflies in this garden Oh yeah, monarch butterfly guys. Yeah, I'm going to, don't worry. So, they love pentas. So, <laughs> okay, pentas are not a native plant. They're not a native host plant or, or nectar source, but butterflies absolutely go nuts for the nectar on the penta flowers. So, these guys here, look at the underside of these wings, guys. They feed on red mangrove. The underside of the wings has a bright blue. Yeah, I, I can scare them away. I'm like all up in his face. I scare him away and I, I think he's gonna come right back. There he is, look at that. Comes right back to the penta flower. The nectar is so good. The nectar is so good. It's like me with coffee. Right, buddy? It's just like you. 
It's just like me with coffee. And just like me when there's a good fishing spot. Lorenzo on a fishing spot. Oh, look what landed on the... Here's a ruddy dagger wing that came to join the, join the party. Man, he's letting me get close. What's up with you, buddy? Okay. Well, did my mangrove skipper, mangrove skipper fly, or there he is? Come here, mangrove skipper. All right, here's another skipper, guys. Yeah. Dang. Okay, there's a big amphitheater. That's the Intracoastal? Yeah. Oh, there's a shipwreck boat. Oh. That's Lake Wyman right there. That's Lake Wyman? Yeah. All right, guys. Oh, so. I know exactly where we are. Okay, so. We have a little natural beach here on the Intracoastal. Boca Raton. Yeah, guys, so. This, across the canal here, is called Lake Wyman. And that's a park. And actually, if you'd like, we can go there fishing after this. Okay. Yeah, we might be able to fish better there. There's a houndfish there. The houndfish? Mm -hmm. Holy cow, cool. All right, here's what we're going to do, guys. Since I told you we're going to look for red mangroves, this is black mangrove right here. And it's the mangrove plant that grows up further on the shore. You can see how the black mangroves start growing actually on the beach the red red mangroves red mangroves guys i'm gonna see if i can show it to you because these are all black mangroves this the mangrove skipper does not feed on black mangroves only on red so i'm gonna show you guys red mangroves here we are red mangroves guys that you can see the roots grow right in the water. Uh, they have the big seeds. Do I see any red mangrove seeds? I don't see any. But the red mangrove seeds are the ones that drop into the water and float around. And then once they once the mangrove seed touches the ground, it starts sprouting roots and the mangrove pops up. And this ma red mangrove keeps our banks secure. They actually, the roots hold the, 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 the sand of the banks on. So when you take away the mangroves, you take away security from the uh, you know from the ground because the erosion can take place. And so we've take we've removed a lot of mangroves in South Florida. To put condominiums up. You can see right down the way here, Those the Boca Hotel down there on the distance, that big pink building. Uh, but the houses and all that stuff that are along the Intracoastal Waterway. Um, those all used to be red mangroves, guys. And here is the host plant for the mangrove skipper. And so I'm going to look to see if we can find any caterpillars. What they do, mangrove skippers make a tent. The caterpillar makes a tent. And this actually was one. Oh, just fell off. Do you see one? I saw an old tent. Yep. All right, guys. So up here, I see... A mangrove skipper tent so what the but the caterpillar does is it it will trim a little section of the leaf off fold it over and cover itself and live underneath the tent as do many skippers let me see if I can pull this limb limb down and show you guys yeah yeah I got it. all right let's see um, zoom out all right now Right here, guys. This at least was a red uh, mangrove skipper caterpillar tent. I'm gonna open it up here. All right, there's nothing inside but a spider. So a spider wound up making a home out of this, but that's what you look for. And the bigger caterpillars, guys, the caterpillars, the bigger ones are actually make a pretty big fold and are very, very impressive. Their, their fold on their, uh, on their leaves. So we're going to try and see if we can find one for you guys so we can show you a caterpillar. Oh, here's the mangrove seed. These are the seeds of the mangroves, guys. 
when these when these seeds mature, they'll drop them into the water and they'll just float around until they find a place where they can germinate. Is that how all of these started? Yeah, that's how all of these started. That's how all these started. Okay, so, oh, check this out. Look at the spider in here. Where is, oh, that's a big guy. Oh, that's a fatty. Oh, man. Guys. The camera quality is so good. Isn't it great? <laughs> I'm, I'm filming with my new iPhone 13 oh, Pro. The colors are amazing. But uh, this spider, guys, this is actually something that I'm defying a little bit of a phobia because I'm not a big fan of touching really? spiders. I, yeah, I don't like spiders. I'll touch it. Yeah, I know you would. But um, I think that's pretty cool. That's a big one. And he lives in that little dead leaf. Boop. Yeah. Well, let's let him be. So. Let's go see the tarpon. All right, we're going to go look at some of the fish and some of, check out some of the sea turtle research and rescuing that they do here at Gumbo Limbo. There's a hardfish. Yeah, we weren't, able to, we weren't able to see any mangrove skipper caterpillars, but Lorenzo's checking out the houndfish here. There's no way I'm going to pick those up with this camera. Oh, I see, the, I see the ripples. Oh, I see them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guys, hope you enjoyed that video of the mangrove skipper. We hope that uh, maybe one day you can get out and see your own mangrove skipper. They're actually really common throughout uh, on the coastal areas. Anywhere there's red mangrove in South Florida, you're going to find mangrove skippers. So guys, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and let's get out there and enjoy South Florida. Take care.